this Tenkara Angler rod report, we're going to look at the Pebble Connector T260 Tenkara rod. All right, so let's take a look at this Pebble Connector T260. Um, Pebble is a brand that I wasn't really aware of. It was one that I found searching the Tenkara hashtag on Instagram and um, not only found Pebble posts um, about this rod, but actually found a couple people in the United States that were fishing this rod, mostly in the Appalachians um, for brook trout, you know, in small blue lines. Um, and it makes sense why they would probably be drawn to this rod because of it, you can kind of see it's very, very short. So we're going to dig into this rod a little bit. I'll take it from tip to tail, and then we'll, uh, you know, kind of look at some of the measurables of the rod to kind of benchmark it against other rods that are, that are out there. So first we're going to look at the, uh, the rod's cosmetics. As you can tell, the rod is a pretty, actually pretty, has a pretty paint job. Um, it's a chocolate brown with gold accents, which looks quite nice. Um, and as you extend it out, you'll notice that the, uh, the rest of the sections are kind of this burnt orange color. Um, if you go to the Pebble website, they mentioned that the, uh, the rod was painted or uh, designed as such because they wanted it to evoke the feeling of a vintage fly rod. Um, and if you're familiar with fly rods from the you know, 60s, 70s, maybe even early 80s, a lot of them had paint schemes like this. So I think they did a very good job in kind of replicating um, a vintage fly rod look um, in that rod. So, um, you know, check, check mark, um, Pebble, great job um, there. It's a really attractive rod when you look at the paint. It's uh, not cheaply done. The rod itself um, has obviously an end cap on the end. It's one of those rubberized end caps. So I don't really think there's any wood on this. It looks just like it's a matte black or shiny black, um, plain black end cap with a rubberized bottom. I'll put that back in for a second. Uh, it does have a the uh, obligatory um, you know lightning or electrocution warning sticker um, on the back, and the rod itself is only about 12 inches long. I actually think it's uh, a little bit over 11 inches, like 11 and a half inches um, long, and the grip is only about five and a half inches. You can see as I hold it up to my hand, my hand is actually bigger or longer than the uh, the grip is. That being said, the grip isn't uncomfortable. You know when you do hold it um, in your hand. Um, it doesn't have any huge humps. It does have some contouring to it. Um, so there's not, you know, a ton of different positions you can use on the rod. But when it's this short, you know, the prop wouldn't really expect you there to be a lot of different grip positions for you with this rod. Um, as I mentioned, the handle's five and a half inches. The circumference of the, of the grip is about 3.1 inches or about eight centimeters around. So as I mentioned, it's, it's not super slim. Um, and it does um, allow you to you know, grip it you know, relatively comfortably. If you look at the end of the rod, um, it does have a nylon or plastic uh, butt cap, I guess is what we call it, um, that does you know, screw off and it does have a little um, you know, washer on it, I guess, um, to keep it snug. Also, if you look at that nylon cap, it does have a hole in it. I don't know if you can make it out you know, on the camera necessarily. So you know, it does have some good, some good drainage, I guess, um, if you get water up inside your rod. Uh, the one last thing I'll note about the rod kind of cosmetically uh, before I get into some of the statistics is that when you buy it, and I know this is kind of important um, for a lot of people, um, at least mine came with a knot in the Lillian. So for those that like to disassemble their rods completely, um, you, you won't be able to do that with this pebble um, unless you uh, pick, open that, uh, pick open that knot. Um, I know a lot of people like to wash them, dry them after use and take every single section apart. Probably also a good time to mention that this pebble rod has 12 sections, which is a little bit more than most Tenkara rods. Most Tenkara rods have about seven or eight or nine. Um, this one has 12, and that's because it extends all the way out to eight and a half feet long. So when you have a short little rod like this that has to grow into a long, long length, you're going to have a lot of sections to make that happen. So um, that's what the T260 um, in connector stands for. Uh, basically 260 centimeters, which is, you know, eight and a half feet. All right, now let's get into some measurables about the Pebble Connector T260. Um, when you take the end cap off and weigh it, um, the rod weighs uh, about 42 grams or 1.5 ounces. Um, so it's a pretty light rod, um, although not the lightest rod, um, especially for one, you know, that's this size, but it, it's fairly light. Um, doing some of the more, what I'll call advanced statistics, um, this rod has a CCS or penny rating of 20 pennies. 
um, which is an indication of um, how much weight it takes to flex this rod. Um, and when you take that CCS and bounce it off of the 8.5 feet or 258 centimeters, um, it yields a rod flex index of 7.8. Um, that 7.8 would make it a 7.3 tip flex rod. Um, and I would say that's fairly accurate. Um, wiggling around the rod, um, you know, doing some lawn casting with it. Um, I'd say it's probably 7.3. Maybe some people might compare it to a 6.4. I know a lot of that's arbitrary, so um, take it for, for what you will. But if you're using Tom Davis's, Davis's famous um, rod flex index chart, it would score a 7.8. So keep that in mind. I'd also like to note that this rod retails for 9,000 Japanese yen on Pebble's website, uh, which roughly equates uh, by current today's um, exchange rates to about 62 US dollars, um, which makes it fairly inexpensive when you're comparing it to other Tenkara rods. Um, that said, um, when you do buy it in order to get it to the United States, they use a company called Buyee, uh, B-U-Y-E-E, -E, um, that kind of integrates into their shopping cart. And then Buyee uh, will charge you anywhere from, I think it's $15 to $30, depending on what method you use um, for shipment. So all in, you're probably looking to get this rod around $80 or $90 if that interests you. Um, I'd also note that when I bought the Pebble, um, and I, when it came over from, um, from Japan, um, it came in this plastic PVC tube, clear PVC tube, um, you know, not necessarily a sleeve or one of those harder, you know, higher quality aluminum tubes, um, kind of came packaged, um, like this, um, if you will, right, like that. Um, whether or not you want to keep this tube or not is up to you. I know some people like to hold on to them, you know, to kind of use them on the trail, put them in, in, flash them onto their packs or whatever. Me, I'm not a big fan of that. So this is kind of secondary, but I did want to show it to you in the first place. Plus the pebble's so small, you can actually probably slip it inside of a, of a waste pack, definitely inside of a backpack. Um, you know, it can go a lot of different places. Now you're probably going to want to know, how does it perform? And as you probably heard, I haven't really taken this out for too much fishing yet on stream. I've only done some backyard casting with it. So in order to give you all a little bit better information on how this rod performs, uh, we reached out to some of the guys on Instagram that I did see that were fishing it. Um, Aaron Kerr and Owen Carson were kind enough to give us their feedback. So if you go to the Tenkara Angler website and look for our Pebble Rod Overview, um, I'll put the link in the description um, of this video. Um, you'll be able to see their thoughts on what makes this rod um, good or bad um, when it comes to chasing down brook trout um, in tight blue line environments. To close, I wanted to thank you all for watching our rod overview video um, of the Pebble Connector T260. Um, if you like these rod reports, we'd love it if you like this video and subscribe to the Tenkara Angler channel on YouTube. Um, share it on your socials, tell your friends. Um, we'd love to do more of these videos in the future. Um, and obviously, good positive feedback from you will, you know, will encourage us to do so. So I thank you for your time today and uh, tight lines out there on the stream.